Now, folks, I'm here with a confident Christopher Knight here with the celebrity. What? what what's if, 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 if you don't act confident, you can't be confident. <laughs> words, words, or food for thought there, ladies and gentlemen. Christopher, you've had a, a couple practice laps here as well as uh, your fellow competitors. What are you expecting for Saturday night? I'm expecting us all to act like, like, like we know what we're doing, mm -hmm. which is totally not the case. No, actually, uh, uh, like, like Frankie, uh, there's a number of players here who, who have raced before, unlike myself. So what I had to do the first time I was out was uh, show them my stunt driving skills. Uh, after taking the car in two wheels and, and um, putting it on the wall and stuffing it pretty good, they're now respecting me. Doesn't matter how slow I go, they're going to stay away from me. <laughs> there's, there's always ways to earn respect at a racetrack. You found one of them. I did. I did. I'm, uh, I'm that guy. So, so now that you've gotten that, that big uh, wreckage out of your way, at, all set for Saturday? <laughs> Just call me Ricky Bobby. Ricky um, Bobby, all right. Yeah, no, I'm ready. I'm, I'm, I'm really excited about this. this is, I mean, it's for a great cause, uh, Kids Against Cancer. So what, a, what better way to lend my time than to come out here and actually, you know, do this. This is like, you know, this is like a dream come true. Now, does any of your acting experience help you in the race car? Absolutely. Because the whole time you're performing. That's right. You're pretending you know what you're doing. <laughs> I had a feeling there was something. I'm not afraid. <laughs> Is it working? Well, I thought when you hit the wall that, it, you know, like in the movies it wouldn't hurt. No. But, it, but we don't do this in post. No, it was, a, it was actually a, that was a good experience. You wanted, I've, never, yeah. I've never crashed a car before. You wanted to do your own stunt. I did. Oh. I, I, and I stunted the car. <laughs> you know. I have a different car now. <laughs> Well, it's probably a good thing, given that thing that was missing a right rear. Anyways, besides that, yeah, we're... It ruined four of the rims. And there's oh. only four on the car. Well, that's true. That's and I true. normally don't do that. It's pretty hard to do. It is, but you accomplished something. Four rims. I think it's an accomplishment. They said it was. Yeah, well, they it said it's never been done before. Now, Chris, there's been some uh, trash talking going around here at these pits. I mean, we've heard, you know, we've talked to Frankie Muniz over there. We've talked to Ricky Ratman. I mean, there, there's some guys. You notice something about the both of them? What's that? They're small. Oh, yeah? So they have to talk big. <laughs> so that's oh. it. By the way, Ricky wrecked that car pretty good uh, like a week ago. He did. Right. Everyone's reminding him and, about and, it. And, and did you ask Ricky how he hurt himself in that wreck? Did you talk about that? I know. Yeah, he's uh, he's talking a little higher now. Oh. Uh, apparently, a little Moved more up and a little more too. shit too. So I mean, oh, well. you know, he's uh, he's uh, I don't think he's going to be as fast as he once was, which wasn't, I guess, fast. I don't know. These guys are pretty fast, though. I mean, the, the problem is, is that we've been out there sort of uh, alone or with one other car in a track. It's it's a whole different, you know, beast. Mm -hmm when there's going to be a bunch of us out there, it's going to be interesting. Because the idea is not to wreck the car. Right, right? yes. We are, they informed you of that. We are here for the, to provide entertainment. Now, granted that most of the people in the stands would love us to wreck the car, uh, that would just not be dollars going to, uh, to fight cancer. So. That's right, that's right. Every, uh, every car that makes it home in one piece, that's money towards charity. Well, Chris, uh, one last question for you. Simple question, are you going to win? That I'm was going slow to save the kids. I'm not going to win. I'm not going to lose. I'm not going to put it in the wall. <laughs> I'm not going to touch. I'm not trading paint because I hope not. All right, everyone. Well, that's Christopher Knight, a very, a very decisive man. He's not going to win and he's not going to lose. <laughs> Be out there. <laughs> yes, you are. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with Kim Coates, driver of the number 44. Yellow car, you can't miss that car, that's bright yellow. You know, this is exactly why I'm in double four over there. It's because I have the only yellow car. No one will be able to not know where Kim Coates is on race night. No, not, not at all, yeah. That and could be scary. I'm not, I'm not sure if that's a good or a bad thing, but we'll find out. And, by the way, you're driving a car that is in the top two in points in the regular division. These cars are are the language juice has two cars you're running a full-blown race car this is not you know, know. uh the uh, this is a full-blown race car i know it's a little unfair actually and i told tim and his sons that and his wife lisa it's a little unfair to put that kind of pressure on my shoulders but i am an ex-hockey player so i can handle it i can handle the pressure no it's an amazing car can't wait to get in that thing every day and and practice and zip around this beautiful track it's been so much fun so i take you haven't practiced at all yet
I have. Okay. Uh, last week we got out twice. Yesterday for a little bit. Today, big press day, meeting guys like you, doing a little dinner over there, and then we'll go. I think tonight under the lights a little bit, and then I have to work all day tomorrow on Sons of Anarchy, so I won't be able to practice tomorrow. But here we go. Tomorrow, a big movies come. Wait, 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 wait. Tommy, did he just say we get dinner? He did. Free meal. I, you always love a free meal, right? Dinner. And it's on me. Okay, boys, enough. it's on me. Look at this. We're getting treated just by a little sound bite. So you guys, you got a big deal coming out tomorrow. Yeah, I have a film opening tomorrow night, A uh, Little Help, with Jenna Fisher. We shot that in New York about a year and a half ago, and it's, uh, it's a sweet little film. We had a premiere at Sony last week, and I hope everybody goes, uh, goes to see it. It's a really neat little indie film. So everyone, it seems like all the other drivers, Skeet, one of them, Frankie Muniz, but we know Ricky Rackman. He's like the troublemaker out here. He's kind of like digging at everybody. What do you got to say for that? I mean, you're going to show him up on Saturday or what? Sandbagger. He's Sandman. a sandbagger. And if you don't know what that term means, oh, racing community, look knows. it up. Yes. Ricky's a sandbagger. <laughs> He's a great guy, though. All right, well, we've got to appreciate Thanks. your time, and good luck. Toyota Speedways. Toyota, Kids Against Cancer Night. You see it on the fire suit? Check it out. There this you is go. Why we're here. This is really why we're here. Presented by Justice charity, Brothers. Charity, charity, charity. It's the best thing. Thanks. Can't wait to see you guys on Saturday. All righty. One, go. Thank you very much. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that was Bill Fickner. I told him to go. <laughs> Bill Figner, everybody. Uh, now, Bill, I need to bring this up to you right away. We've talked to several of the drivers out here, and there's a lot of trash talking going on. I, I want your response. Ah, what are they talking about? Tell me what they're trash talking about. Well, you know, guys are saying that they're going to win. You know, they're going to blow everyone their doors off. They're, they're mentioning this guy named Bill Figner, and they're like, ah, you know, he may be fast today, but watch us on Saturday. Oh, so God bless everybody. I just want a safe race. I want to ride this car to the best of my ability. That's why, I, you know, listen, I talk to Tim every day. And all the other guys that are in, all the other boys that are in the pits there, they ride these cars, they know how to ride these cars. I learn something every time I get out there and every time I talk to them, and that's, that's, that's the whole focus thing for me. I just want to ride it smooth, fast, safely, and um, if I can ride it to the best of my ability, I, you know, I should do okay. Now, I, I noticed that you're out there in the number zero car. That's, that's my favorite number, so you have a lot going for you here. I, see, I didn't know that, but now... Now you do. Now I feel really better, man. <laughs> He doesn't even know who I am. <laughs> doesn't matter. It doesn't doesn't matter. matter, brother. It's a zero thing. Hey, hey. Thank you, Bill. Thank you. Hug it up. Oh, Hug it up. yeah. Now, uh, I, I, <laughs> due to the experience of these drivers out there, you know, and I have to, you know, make a little play with, you know, movies and everything. Is it going to be like Armageddon out there? I hope not. Yeah, I hope not. I don't yet. want that. No. No, I mean, let's not, let's not get crazy out there. I mean, this could be, a lot, you know, a lot of people are going to come Saturday night. We just want fans out there. Just having a great time and, you know, no wild, wild west stuff, you know. No, no. Somebody's a Yahoo out there, man. I'll take the car and I'll pull it off the track. I'm serious. I don't, I don't want to be a part of that. Well, as you, you know, a lot of the drivers have mentioned the fact that you guys bring the cars home and that goes to charity. The the money does. Oh, I thought we were like, we get to take like the, the car home. Charity. Like, I get to take the car home? Man, I'll be a part of this every year. All right. Well, there you go. We got them. Ten years you. from now, I'll start my own race. <laughs> um, hey, Bottom line, listen, it's, it's right here. Kids Against Cancer. There you got um, it. Do, you know, I, I had a, the good fortune of being part of uh, the, the Toyota uh, Grand Prix of Long Beach this year, mm -hmm. running in that Pro-Am race, and uh, that's racing for kids. And, and uh, you know, at the end of the day, there's no better feeling. You know, everything we do out here, there's going to be some kids here Saturday night. You know, we're going to see them. This is, you know, whatever we are celebrities or whatever like that we get the opportunity to do this and because we're here if that brings in a few more people a f you know a few more dollars are raised for this cause right here uh, hey listen i'm gonna i'm gonna drive home that night feeling really good about that well bill we definitely appreciate you all coming on out here and joining us for kids against cancer night cool huh very cool you're gonna be here saturday oh we're dead we're always here really? we're here every saturday here? basically yeah you guys like track rats we, uh, what would you say Absolutely. No doubt about it. All right, because that's what everybody calls you. <laughs> Bill, Bill Fickner. That was Bill Fickner. <laughs> that's Bill Fickner, everybody! Woo!
Do I gotta make sure I take a picture with everybody before I? He's riding a motorcycle. Yeah, see? Sons of Anarchy. That's the type of motorcycle they race. Go mopeds. <laughs>